this is um, um, doing this little video. Um, this is a, a, a was a chap in Ireland once, George. Um, so this is for him to show me how it goes together. I've got to now weigh it and see what it's going to cost to send over to Ireland. Uh, but I have a friend who has a, a business where they're moving stuff all over the world, so I'm pretty sure you can get a good deal on it for the transportation. Um, but for anybody, this is um, a jig I made up to um, run my XK, any XK engine and gearbox will fit onto this system. Um, I'm sure you could probably fit any engine onto it if you change the uh, the engine mount. Um, but for anybody who wants to make one up, this is how, how it was uh, put together. So basically what you've got is this um, sheet of metal here is actually for the battery and the fuel can so obviously you can run it all off the engine. Uh, this part here is for the radiator to, to sorry, the um, the engine frame, uh, sorry, the, um, I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, the picture frame sits on here um, and then this sits underneath to hold the radiator in. So the picture frame goes onto this, this part here uh, on the other side. That's why this cutout's there. And then these two hold the radiator on the, on the front like that. And this has been made exactly in line with the engine. These are the engine mounts. So you can see they go on there like that. And basically what they are is angle line. They've all been welded up solidly as you can see. And then your engine mount goes on here and there's a, there's a, 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 a bolt in the middle that goes down through that hole so it doesn't interrupt it. They go on there like that. There's six casters on it and with an engine and a gearbox you can move it easily with one person. Again, same on that side. I mean, I would advise you giving it a clean up and a paint, but uh, it's entirely up to you. But I'll completely strip it down. The longest pieces are obviously these, the long ones on the side, but I'm pretty sure we can make a box up or something for them. Um, but I'll strip everything down, so we'll end up with, what, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 14 pieces, I think it is, plus the six casters. Um, and this piece on this end is where the gearbox sits. Now this I made afterwards, and this was for putting the E-Type control panel in, so you could hot wire it up and use it on the button. Uh, and you could either have it that way, it just slid over that, or you could have it that way, whatever you wanted. And, and the two bolts that you take the um, center dash out with, you just or the two nuts that you just put in there, or they're, they're actually bolts, they've got uh, shafts on them. They go in there, uh, and then at the end here, this is where you put your gearbox. Obviously, you'll have this. It's an old one, and there's a spring and a mount that goes on here, and the bolt from the bottom of that mount will go through that hole, and then you just attach it onto this. It's fairly simple. There's really not a lot to it. Um, uh, yeah, that's that's really about it. But it took quite a while to to get all the uh, bits and pieces together, but it runs very well. There's no, when there's weight on it, it's, uh, I've even had more weight than, than the engine on it and it still runs really well. So anyway, everything's there. All you need is the picture frame and so on. And you can see it runs. The reason I made this so high was so that you could push it easier. If it's down low, you, you've got to, Put a bit of weight in it. So once the engine's on, it's a lot easier to move this around. Okay, so uh, there's only one brake on it, uh, which is well, there was only one brake on it. It actually didn't come out. But you could change the casters around if you want. So that's it, George. So if anybody wants to make something like that, I what I also did was I put my engine and gearbox on, and then I used a motorcycle hydraulic trolley to put my IRS attached the prop shaft and, and actually tested everything and it's on a video called um, I think it's E-Type Jaguar engine and gearbox or clutch test or something like that I think it is or unplugged or plug um, and, and I had this on there I probably did about 20 hours running while it was on this which is a good way of running in the engine anyway so I uh, hope uh, somebody gets something out of that but this kind of thing you could make for any engine really it's uh, it's box section, extremely strong, uh, even though the engine is very heavy. So, 
Thanks for watching in. Bye.